Hey guys, new disturbing breaking information in the Sean Diddy Combs case. I know what y'all saying, Tisa, how can anything be more disturbing than a nine year old, a minor that was in one of the FOs? Well, guess what? You know what's more disturbing than nine? Six. There is a six year old that is coming out and making disturbing claims. What's even more disturbing and makes it more valid is the fact that his parents are doubling down. They're talking about what happened at the party in the Hamptons and the details are wild. It is not looking good for Diddy or anybody defending him. I know there's a lot of mess going on, but we need to focus on Diddy because he hasn't been convicted and we need more people to come forward. Baby call one 877 uh, H S I T I P. If you have information that can help the feds, there's Tyrone Blackburn. There's the Busby lawyer. We need to make sure that Diddy sees justice. And with each story coming out, it makes me think that there are counter narratives being run from people that aren't even on trial yet to distract and take our eyes off of, we need to see Diddy to completion. Y'all let's get into this because you cannot make this up. You just, you can't make this up. And I know Diddy wish he could make this go away, but it's not. If you guys don't know, there are pictures to actually confirm all this. So none of this can be accused of being cat. This is directly from a man who has very famous power, uh, uh, parents. He said, I was dragged to one of Diddy's infamous parties when I was only six years old. I saw blankety blank women everywhere and lots of rugs you guys listen john litovsky he is going on record ain't no i saw i could have he is going on record and you know what for all the victims that feel scared like they can't go on record you this is the time i think this is a time you will be most protected in your life diddy can't even scratch the corner of his eye he can't even he can't even scratch under his chin be, be, without the judge being like what are you doing what are you doing what, put your hands down what are you doing you are most protected right now okay it is everybody's choice but people are speaking out and there are strengths in numbers but let's get into this they said john Latowski, now 30 said he remembered seeing a lot of mary jane and a bunch of blankety blank women at a bash in the hamptons in 1999 just to let you guys know the feds are saying there are superseding indictments coming they plan to maybe even roll it to prior to 2008 and take it all the way back to the beginning of how bad boys was founded they said diddy who at the time performed as puff daddy and later diddy uh, was detained on federal charges last month. You guys all know this. Justin has told how on July 3rd, so this is definitely his 4th of July party, the white party. Many people are saying that the white parties were precursors to freak offs, but get this. July 3rd, 1999, his parents unknowingly took him to one of Combs' notorious parties. And the invite said it was billed as an afternoon barbecue. But just when Justin arrived with his parents, photographer David Allen, he's a huge photographer, and Maya Latowski, they realized it was full of alcohol and nearly naked guests. He said, I remember a lot of weed and a bunch of topless women in the pool and around the pool. He said, now this is, it's, I know this is serious, but it's a little funny because this is a little kid. They don't know nothing. That's why kids are so innocent and we have to protect them. His next line is, I actually wanted to get in. Anytime we went anywhere for a pool, I wanted to swim. Listen, I have nieces, nephews, cousins that are the same way. This is why we have to protect kids because even through all that debauchery, that his parents clearly didn't know was there. All he wanted to do was get into the pool. There's more. He said his mother, Maya, but his mother jumped in and said she did not give, she, I did, she did not give her son the opportunity to get in there. She said there were bottles everywhere and naked women. I wasn't sure if this was appropriate or normal. I wondered about how kids were allowed into the party to begin with. She brings up a very good point, right? 
And I think this is what Busby and Tyrone Blackburn were hinting at. It's not just Diddy. It's not just his co-conspirators, or actually it is, but everybody from the people that saw what was going on and let parents with their six-year-old come in. What did you think the parents were taking their kid to go see? Why did you think a six-year-old was coming into that? Let's be serious and actually think about that. Why would they, why, if you were there, why don't you turn them away and be like, yo, um, yeah, I know we said it's a barbecue, but we can't let you in or something. But the fact that you saw two adults walk in with a kid who's on the thumbnail and something in the security, in the waitresses, in the, um, in the assistants were like, yeah, this is a good look. It makes you wonder why was that happening? But anyway, right. And this is why they all need to be held accountable. How did he get through security? A photo shows Diddy donning sunglasses and a towel over his shoulder and his arm around Justin while there are naked people going around. I don't look like I have a normal smile on that pic. Okay. The mom is quick to say, well, we didn't see people having spanks blank, but we left at 9 30 PM. Again, you kept your kid close and maybe like fame. The father's a very famous photographer. That's why Diddy invited him. Fame is a thing because why, if you walked into a barbecue when all that was going on, did y'all stay there with the six-year-old? To the point of it was such a jarring memory, he still has memories of today and he's describing it in vivid detail. The party continued and nobody was getting at the pool. So who knows what happens? They said among the guests at the party were Jay-Z, Little Kim, Patti LaBelle, Keith Richards, along with basketball star Magic Johnson, designer Donna Karen, and model Tyson Beckford. Y'all, did y'all ever, we'll talk about Tyson in another thing. Not saying he was in any freak calls, but Tyson was a wild boy. Don't let those supermodel good looks fool you. He was in them streets. He just, oh, he was, he was, he was wild, but not like wild, like anything like with Diddy. Let me not put his name in there. They said Justin's dad got him in pictures with, oh, okay. Magic Johnson, Patti LaBelle, and of course, Keith Richards. I guess they actually stayed just to take some pictures. His dad was a famous photographer and then they left. I wonder if his dad was actually working. This comes on the phone. That, this comes on the, the ills of the fact that Hills of Diddy facing 120 new accusations of sexual assault, including a nine-year-old, 14-year-old, a pregnant woman, everyone. They said that he used Trank which I thought was like special K, but apparently people are saying that it is a designer drug that is actually stronger than special K, uh, which is ketamine, which is used on horses. Trank is used on hippopotamus and like really, really large animals, but it's a special cocktail, which makes you think that it's like, did, did he have his own pharmacist? Is this a hip hop version of making, um, breaking bad mixed with, uh, mixed with like Epstein Island, like what is going on? And again, if Diddy was getting designer things, drugs made to give people, it makes you wonder, um, who was the firm that was doing it again, all these things that Diddy was doing from the settlements to the NDAs, to the lawyers, to the security, he hired big things to the venue. It was his house, but there were housekeepers. Everybody had to keep quiet for this to go on. Now, they could have been bribed, they could have been intimidated, they could have been scared. But I think that as many people witness this, they all should come forward and tell what they know. Maybe people have. We are going to have to wait for an indictment. But as of now, it is not. Listen, it's not the fact that it's not looking good for Diddy. It's the fact that never in the history of anything has it looked this bad for anyone. Interestingly enough, and I do have to say this. I want to 100% keep my eyes focused on Diddy um, uh, and what's going on. I do want to say that we are getting a lot of information about Diddy, and that's what lets me know that he is definitely going to go down, and these entertainers and athletes and um, actors or whoever was involved, they're going down too. Because unlike Jeffrey Epstein, where there were politicians and all this stuff, and we never got to see the videos, we never got to see this, where everything was highly redacted, they'd given up the tapes on Diddy. It could be that Epstein did a lot of his stuff overseas too, and it was from a different era before social media. I really don't know. We can talk about that later, but for right now, let's focus on bringing Diddy down. What in the world? What in the world? And it makes me think maybe a lot of people 
are not coming out and speaking about this is because they played a bigger role in it than they care to believe. Again, everybody seemed to be cool to participate and watch until they didn't get the benefit they were promised. And now, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Regardless, if you're a victim, come forward. If you saw something that can help somebody get justice, even if you didn't have the courage or you didn't care enough to speak back then, now is your time to redeem yourself. It's an anonymous hotline call, say something so we can actually put a period on the end of this despicable decades long, disgusting story or subculture or narrative that was happening in, you can't just say hip hop in all of the entertainment system. Again, that's just it. If you couldn't say anything back then because you were scared or you didn't care, it's your time at redemption. Speak up. It's anonymous. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.